How is everybody? Good morning on this uh, fabulous Monday uh, where we're going to um, not attempt, but we're actually going to get shit done today. Uh, very cool. Welcome to Art Talk. Uh, this is Monday. I don't have peanut butter on my face, do I? No? Seems okay. Uh, waiting for people to roll in. What's up, Timbo? Good to see you. Uh, sitting in the wings, waiting for uh, some ass-kicking time, as they say. Lawrence, the chefster, uh, welcome uh, today's Art Talk. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing doing good and uh, fantabulous. Uh, see the signs of life uh, out there a little bit, a little bit. Let me get this down. What's up, Chris? Good morning. Good to see you, man. It's a little, it's a little hot, right? No? I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell. Uh, okay. Welcome to Art Talk, people. And uh, we have a, a good subject for today. We're going to talk a little bit about confidence. And uh, uh, I know that, that people uh, are challenged with this idea sometimes. And not confidence in the traditional sense. That where you can get, you know, confident videos on, on you know, on how to be confident. Um, uh, thank you for uh, uh, kind words on Toastmasters. That was fun. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Nate Truman, what's up? Lisa Acosta, good to see you guys. What's up, everybody? Uh, Chris Moody's here. Jerry Crocker's here. Good to see you guys. Very cool. Uh, William Robertson, thanks for joining us. Looks like a uh, some kind of flamed dragster as your uh, your um, icon. Uh, yes, Steve uh, Gifford, you are confident. Randy Smith. Cool. All right. You guys are good to go here. Monique Wood. All right. We got uh, good, some good stuff. We're not going to talk about confidence in the sake of, um, you know, obviously you need to be confident to do certain things. We're going to talk about confidence on a much deeper level uh, than the traditional sense. Uh, hey, you should be confident in, in your, your uh, uh, going in for a job or something like that. You know, that's, that's not the kind of confidence we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about uh, an internal process uh, that we can begin to advance in a way that we have not experienced before in the past and apply that to our lives literally today. Not like tomorrow, today, all right? Uh, welcome, this is our talk if this is your first time, which I think most of you have, uh, 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 have been joining us for quite some time now. Loretta Smith, good morning, Loretta. Uh, my name is Fireball and uh, this show is called Art Talk. It's where we help you guys to instill creative power within your life so that you can manifest uh, greatly by using everything from the law of attraction to its subdivisions, the law of passion, law of, of uh, probability, law of giving. Uh, that's all really one thing, but you know, we, we, talk, we kind of break it down into sections so that we can kind of understand the, the bigger picture and that we can apply that in our daily lives as creative people and uh, actually manifest uh, the life that we uh, have envisioned for ourselves, our, our dream life which is not a dream, it's a reality. And uh, it's constantly evolving. And it's where we get shit done, right there. Pretty good, landed on the D. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, perfect, perfect, awesome. So uh, a couple of heads ups as to what's going on here at Fireball Publishing. We got a lot of, lot of cool stuff that's happening. I'm gonna be drawing today for our next book, but we literally just launched the Camaro coloring book, which I'm very excited about. Now, uh, you may not may or may not know this, but when I when we publish a book, and the book comes out on the first, that means it's it's uh, available on Amazon. It doesn't mean that I actually have a physical copy yet. I still have to wait a week or two before a physical copy shows up here at the pad, and I get to actually uh, uh, touch it and stuff. Now, many times you you know you might want to get a test copy if you're not really sure about things, but we've done so many of these books they come out rocking every time, and we just got the custom car book just showed up, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, when you buy it, it's not backwards. Although, it would be fun to do a backwards coloring book. <laughs> you got to draw everything backwards. <laughs> not, really. not really. It's color. It's color. So, uh, this is our custom coloring book. Uh, just came out uh, before the Camaro book. This is a, kind of a shows all the books that, that we have at this moment. We have a Hot Rod book coming. We got Mopar. Uh, I might even do like McLaren or Ferrari or something like that. We'll see how it goes. But this book is kind of an assemblage of a lot of the different books that we have. Uh, all the custom cars, which is kind of fun. And a Hot Rod book is going to be coming. But the next book is not, not a car book. It's actually our first official uh, high-grade gill. 
No, it's not a Greg Gelf book, although that would that could be cool, I guess. Um, it's our first official celebrity coloring book. It's our official Tony Dow coloring book. Uh, very excited about this. I'm actually starting to draw today on the Tony Dow book. Uh, he has a, a rather rambunctious audience that loves Leave it to Beaver. And if you guys have ever watched Leave it to Beaver, I can't imagine that you wouldn't if you're 50 and above. Uh, pretty much all of us have seen that show at some time uh, or another in our lives. But, uh, you know, Tony and I got together and we decided, hey, you know, he's he's into cars. He's into the ocean, uh, which is really what our brand is. And we decided to create a, a cool coloring book. So August 1st, August 1st, we're launching the official Tony Dow coloring book. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And I know that the Leave it to Beaver clan, there's a Leave it to Beaver fan club that's gar gar gargantuous, as well as Tony's page. He's got like a... Um, 95,000 people on his Facebook page. And we just posted a comment. We just posted a comment that we were going to do this book. We got 52,000 replies. I read them all. No, I didn't. Not even, not even close. I mean, 50, you got to be kidding me. 52,000? No, no. But they were 100% positive. That's for sure. Everyone was excited about it. And uh, we're going to be putting that together. So uh, that's what we're doing. That's what's coming next on deck here at Fireball Publishing. Uh, but we also just released today uh, episode 987, moving towards uh, 1,000 vlogs. Check out episode 987. It is the 2020 uh, Chevy Camaro 2SS. Now, uh, if you're expecting to get uh, technical stuff like horsepower and 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 you know power to weight ratio and all that kind of stuff on our car reviews that's not the kind of stuff that we do you know i'm, I'm a car designer i work in the film industry designing mo cars for movies it's an aesthetic process and so we we analyze design we talk about design and uh, i didn't get this car for that long so uh, uh we have a little bit of stuff that's going on with it but it's a beautiful car and we're driving around today and if we see one of you guys we'll wave it's a white S two SS with black stripes, black and red. It's badass. It's just cool. It's four hundred and fifty five horse. Uh, very nice car. What else we got? Uh, the wheels and waves. We got a confirmation from the Malibu Country Mart. For, so we're very excited. Wheels and waves is coming back July nineteenth, Sunday. Uh, coffee bean is closed, so you have to bring your own coffee. You know, unless you want to bring a coffee maker and bring coffee for everybody. But there will be Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels for everybody. Super excited about that. And speaking of Hot Wheels, I picked up a couple of cars over the weekend. Uh, these guys um, are part of a video game that I totally forgot the name of. But the, those were kind of cool. I thought those were interesting because it reminds me of uh, the cars I grew up with. Uh, station wagons and, you know, big fat slab-sided Lincolns. One of my favorites, uh, I aspire to be this. Now, one of my favorite illustrators of all time is uh, was Charles Schultz, and uh, they have, a, of course, a little uh, Snoopy Hot Wheels, and that just came out. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, all these cars are going to be uh, piped up to the Murphy Museum, so uh, you guys will get a chance to enjoy those also. This was something that reminded me of the Motorama cars of the 50s. That was a pretty, pretty cool thing. It has a little bit of a front end on the Futura for the, they use for the Batmobile. And then these are ID, uh, Hot Wheels ID cars. Uh, if you watch... Uh, Mike Zarnock's show, uh, Hot Wheels TV, he'll talk about some of these uh, ID cars. And the neat, the neat thing about these is that they both have chips. They have a little chip that's right in there. It says backwards. It's not BI, it's ID. Uh, little, uh, little digital chips. Bag of chips? No, I don't know. Uh, digital chips so you can program the car to, I don't know, say your name. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of weird AI that is going to take over eventually. I think that that when when our political system gets gets uh, worked out, um, I think Hot Wheels should step in, and Hot Wheels Hot Wheels should be president. <laughs> yeah, Hot Wheels should be president. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. But it would be cool. It would be cool. You know, I might, might as well. Darn, we'll be glamping on seven nineteen. Uh, Loretta, uh, your glamping has been canceled. I just want to let you know. Come to Wheels and Waves. Jeff Deal, what's up? Uh, good to see you. Uh, dang coffee bean. Yeah, coffee bean's closed, but, you know, what uh, What are we going to do? Uh, we we learn to roll with it. This is what we do here on Our Talk. Jacqueline Sears, right? Correct? Uh, MC Ken Bella, what's up, my friend? Who else we got? Okay, good deal. All right, let's get into today's Art Talk. Uh, enough of this nonsense. Who's laughing? I saw someone laughing. Uh, today's Art Talk, we're going to be talking about confidence, uh, how to become a more confident artist 
is the, the top level um, description. But I'm not talking about artist as in uh, someone who, some wacko that draws with a pen or pencil, some kook that you might know that illustrates things like that. I'm not talking about that kind of art. I'm talking about a creative process. I'm talking about people that, um, that attempt to move forward on a creative process, and that could be Chef Lawrence, a very nice, delicious dish, dish full of garlic. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, building a car. It could be uh, deciding to, uh, to uh, uh, upgrade your house. It could be uh, building a business. Uh, whatever creative process you're into, we are creation beings, human beings, and that's what we do. That's our job. Uh, we come here on this planet, this little floating orb that, that you have no idea which direction it's going because it's a ball. And it's just spinning, and you got to think of something to do because otherwise you just kind of you know poke around on the ball. And you get into this creative process. And, and how can we be successful by, by, by doing this creative process to where... Uh, the 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 thing that we attempt to do is a success itself. I have an ant that is crawling on me somewhere. You guys see anything? Oh, there he is. Go away, ant. The weather changes, and the ants come and visit my house. <laughs> it's like it's like a Pixar movie. <laughs> what was I saying? Okay, now uh, in building confidence and 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 two sides of creativity is that you you can have a creative process like you want to you want to build a garden in your house and you want to be successful in that the garden is done and that you can grow cool stuff and you can have salsa and tomatoes and all the kind of cool stuff you want or you might want to build something that you can monetize like a a business you know or a product you have a great idea for a a yo-yo made out of a bagel right it's edible yo-yos love the idea someone's got to do that yeah, I'm not sure that's a great idea. It, I mean, it might. It might be. You could do it of an, an Oreo cookie, right? Has anyone ever done a yo-yo Oreo? I mean, that, that's possible. But then again, if you ate your Oreo, ate your yo-yo, then you don't have any yo-yo left. And then and maybe the string would have to be edible. I don't know. I don't know. But see, this is what happens with the creative process. Is that you, get, you get the ball rolling, and, and it just starts happening. It just starts coming along. Muhammad, thanks for watching today on Art Talk. We do this every eight, every weekday, no, every Monday now at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here from Malibu, California. We're talking about how to become a more confident, creative person. How do we make uh, how do we make that creative process that we are attempting become successful on a level that is um, a step up from what you're normally used to? You know, you, you're you're confident about uh, your ability to. Uh, to build an addition onto your home and you know exactly how it's going to be. But how do you step it up? How do you, how do you push yourself to, be, uh, to create something a little bit better than you used to? Att attempt something that you're not normally that confident. What, what people tend to do is they, they tend to, um, to stick with what they know and what they're confident at instead of working outside the box. Now, I'm not a person that's like that. I like being uncomfortable. I like uh, driving cars I've never driven before at high speeds, not on streets, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, I like uh, uh, hiking where I've never hiked before. I like uh, getting into sticky situations sometimes. Uh, I, I, I like exploring. And as a child, and I mentioned this to you uh, on a previous art talk, is that uh, you know my 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 brothers and and my sister we would go outside in the front yard, uh, the front of our house, and in the morning, and one of us would would volunteer and close our eyes and put our hand out like this, and uh, our brothers and sisters would spin us until we stopped, and then wherever we stopped, that's the direction that we all went to for that day, for the whole day, you know. And if a house is in the way, you just gotta go around the house, you know, or through the house in some cases. Right. Uh, Chris Moody, we have the ant problem too. Used peppermint oil or baking soda, they run away. Yeah, so does uh, cinnamon. Cinnamon works really well on ants also. It doesn't hurt them. They just like, who? I don't like that smell, you know? And then they <laughs> go a different direction. But the truth is that the ants are there because there's dog food out. There's there's a reason that, that, that they're coming out there. So you just kind of have to clean your house. You know, basically. So we're talking about, you know, uh, uh, the creative force, uh, not the traditional sense, but um, it starts in the mind. It starts in the mind, people, as does everything. It starts in the mind. Now, the thing about about confidence, let's talk about about um, the, the process 
of, because confidence is actually the, the effect of an initial cause. And the initial cause is your ability to say, I am confident. Now, if you, any of you got a chance to um, hang out with us uh, for the Toastmasters talk, uh, we talked about three things that we, uh, we can control in our life and the rest we cannot. We cannot control whether people protest, people riot, people throw, throw uh, oranges or tomatoes with melted caramel on the inside. That was my idea during Halloween. Cops didn't really like that too much, you know, because you got to scrape the window and it just kind of smears, or butter, melted butter. That was a good one too. But my point is, digress a little bit. Uh, my point is that that um, when we're young, uh, the first seven years of our life, we are a, a, a subconscious sponge and we're absorbing everything that our parents say, we're absorbing everything that they do. We're absorbing their thoughts, their words and their actions, primarily their words and their actions. They say something to us, they make a suggestion, and they repeat that suggestion over and over again, like um, uh, uh, go to the bathroom in the bathroom, not in your in your your little. Uh, you know, I'm saying this because I'm a grandfather now, right? And I never really thought too much about uh, poopy diapers, but that, that it happens, right? So uh, they make suggestions. Uh, they make suggestions that wow, you're so smart, you're so smart. Oh, you're so beautiful. They're making suggestions, and eventually those suggestions, because they're repeated so many times you begin to believe this suggestion and becomes an auto-suggestion and you start feeding it to yourself. And then that, that habit grows larger and becomes part of your nature and then part of your personality. And then it becomes you. Uh, eventually it becomes you. And then you say, I am, you know, this, you know, interject, whatever. Do you were the thick in there? Boop. Right? Uh, we're talking about confidence today. So if you're, if you're saying, I am confident, then you're in, in good shape. Right? Uh, when you're saying, uh, I am uh, not confident about this particular thing, this is, this, these are all choices that you're making. So you have to be very careful about what you choose. So um, I like uh, saying, I am uh, a little uncomfortable here. Right? I like that idea because when I'm uncomfortable, then my growth bubble is being forced to expand a little bit. So, as an example, if I had never worked with acrylics before, right? Uh, some of you, if you've never worked with a with a chainsaw, you know, I grew up uh, whipping a chainsaw like crazy. So I, I would trim trees as a kid. I made big bucks doing that, by the way. It was really cool. Uh, you know, if you, but if you never you never did that, then a chainsaw may, may seem like, oh, that's a scary thing, right? But, you know, I mean, a pen can be a scary thing. You know, if you if people go around poking each other in the eyeballs with it, then you wouldn't want to see a pen, right? But chainsaws are basically used for trimming trees. And it's a really great tool unless you, you know, screw up and, and, and slice off your little pinky, hmm. which I guess could happen from time to time. Uh, actually, it, it doesn't because your pinkies are not in the position. You, you get my point. You get my point. So your comfort zone uh, has to constantly be expanded. We want our comfort zone uh, to, to constantly um, push outward, okay, as a creative person. Uh, which is why it's important that when you take on a project like restoring a vehicle, you restore something you've never done before, right? You get to explore. You know, how do I solve this problem? How do I how do I um, uh, create a uh, an expansion to myself, right? So it starts in the mind. The the reprogramming of our belief system. So if we have a belief system right now that says that. Um, you know, uh, I'm not that confident as a creative person uh, that, that, you know, I have many people come up to me and they say, well, you know, I'm not that I'm not someone who can create ideas. Right. Uh, and, and there's a lot of those people that they don't want to be in a room where they're brainstorming because they don't feel comfortable with other people because people are rattling off ideas. Now, I'm, I'm very comfortable in this. And I used to do this professionally at Walt Disney Imagineering and a lot of different places where you sit in a room with five or six people and you brainstorm a whole new park, right, that's going to come out. And we would brainstorm things like uh, water parks and, uh, you know, things that would be a combination of, um, let's take Pirates of the Caribbean and New Tomorrowland, and what would we get, right? So those kinds of, those kinds of ideas, uh, I feel very comfortable in being able to expand upon. Now, there's some areas I'm not so comfortable. Um, like, as an example, if Kathy were to come up to me and say, hey, I can't build uh, this, this mascot, I need you to build it. I would say, no, not going to happen. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to run down to the local 
ice cream place. And I'm going to sit there and cry for a little while. You know, that's what I would do or something like that. You know, uh, there's certain things that I'm, I'm not comfortable because I've never done it. I've never done it. Kathy thinks three-dimensionally. I think two-dimensionally. And she's very good at what she does, but she's not necessarily that comfortable drawing, although you wouldn't necessarily know it because she's, she's done several of our coloring books. But it's not necessarily because those three things, thoughts, words, and actions, those are separate ideologies. Now, you can think negative thoughts about a certain given idea, and then your words may not match that. You may say, uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Even though you have thoughts in the mind that are, that are, are negative and, and not fully confident. And then your actions may be um, nil or they may be uh, gargantuan. Now, the one thing about Kathy is that she may not necessarily be that confident in her mindset, but her actions, she's a badass. And I'm, I'm not exaggerating. She's a hardcore badass when it comes to actions. So she's petrified of heights. But that doesn't stop her from climbing a pyramid, right? Uh, it doesn't stop her from going across a huge expansion bridge to where she got out in the middle of it and got stuck and it took an hour to get her off the bridge. You know, that kind of stuff. So the, the amazing thing about, about her is that she, when, when she talks uh, or, or expresses herself about not necessarily being that confident about a certain thing, like a certain level of wave that she surfs, right? It's, she's very comfortable in a two to four foot set, four, four foot on the outside. And if a, if a set comes in that's five feet, you know, it's uh, one, it's only one foot, right? Just one foot. Well, you know, in the surfing world, uh, one foot is, is significant. It can be significant. Uh, so uh, if she manages to catch that wave and ride it, uh, her expansion bubble uh, grows and it's quite extraordinary. And I'm the same way, you know, that when I first started surfing, um, I was more confident because I grew up doing boogie boarding and riding five to 10 foot sets, boogie boarding. And then when I got into surfing, uh, uh, it was uh, two to three, and then slowly three to four, five to six. And then, you know, and you can expand and, and get higher than that. But, you know, it, it takes a whole level of, level of confidence when people are surfing Jaws in, in, in Hawaii you know, where it's 20 to 30 foot sets, you know, that's, that's not going to be me. <laughs> I'll sit on the sidelines, watch, have my ice cream, as they say, and, uh, and have a good time. Now, in, in talking, in, in trying to decipher where the confidence comes from, is I want you guys to understand that as we, as we try to grow forward as creative people, and we want to improve our confidence, then there's, since there's only three ways that we can do that through our thoughts, words, and actions, is that we can consciously cre uh, start to feed our mind thoughts that are thoughts of confidence. Now, right out of the gate, you're not going to see any change. You're not going to see any effect from those, from that mantra, that, that, that repetition of that idea. You can say, I am confident in the, that, that I will do a great job, right? Even though you don't necessarily believe that. And that's the thing, is that your belief system is what is the predominant thing that controls you. And the only way to change a belief system is to repeat its opposite. But repeating this, its opposite, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, like uh, you do it for a month and you're guaranteed to succeed. It doesn't work that way. Um, the, your approach has to be that I'm going to repeat this, this opposite mantra to build my confidence until the moment that I feel it. Hold on a second. Getting some Instagrams coming in. So repetition is, is key with anything. You know, you want to learn how to use a chainsaw, then you use it the first time, you're a little uncomfortable, but by the thousandth time you get out there, you become an expert and you can, that's the kind of level of confidence. And those are your action, your actions. And you can improve your confident level, confidence level by repeating the actions. And the same thing like maybe chef, if you're still watching and you're making a certain dish, the more times you make that dish, the more confident you become. Then you begin to explore it and add things and, and, ex and experiment and stuff like that. And that, that's what expands your repertoire. But we're talking about our thought process, uh, not so much the, the actions or the words, although the words are important too, is that people don't realize that their words betray them. So I can have a conversation with someone and I can really understand where they're coming from just based on the words that they're using. 
because the words that they're using are telltale signs that it's it's given it away. So you can someone can come across, they can walk confidently, they can dress confidently, but you listen to their words and their words give them away. And not not to to ever use that against them or to criticize them in that case, but it it shows you areas that you can help them. Now a good therapist, a good psychologist, um, to which there there really aren't that many, uh, because many of them have their own challenges. Um, when they understand this, they understand this process, the ability that that all success starts in the mind first. And then by using your thoughts, words, and actions, uh, you can repeat successful thoughts, you can repeat successful words, and you can take successful actions. You are assured greatness. You are assured success. You cannot not have success if you make sure that the repetition is all going in the same direction. Now, there's different levels of that, as I mentioned earlier. So since there's three things, you can have be very confident in your thoughts, very confident in your words, but not take any action. That's called an official bullshitter. And you guys have met people like that where they, they, you know, they talk a big game, but they don't act a big game. But then there's people that are really quiet, like uh, uh, Aria, that, that, that car company that made the custom cars. They didn't tell anybody that they were going to break the, the uh, 200 mile an hour barrier. They just built the car and they went and did it right? The bold in actions. And it's important that you have balance between the three, that your thoughts are confident, not overly confident. Your words are confident, not overly confident. You don't have a big ego. And, uh, you know, uh, because, you know, karmatically, that's going to slap you down in, 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 in a good way, because we don't want, we don't want our ego to, to get out of control. We want it to be in check. And then our actions have to be confident actions. Okay. So that repetition, uh, we're trying to reprogram the subconscious, and through our thoughts, we're reprogramming. Through our words, which is a vibration itself, we're reprogramming. And through our actions, uh, that uh, if you take an action, you make a mistake and it doesn't work, then you repeat that action until you make that process successful. That builds that confidence, okay? And, and that, that's kind of the process of how it works as from a creative standpoint. So if you want to grow your confidence, you grow your confidence level, then it's about being able to repeat your thoughts, words, and actions that take you where you want to go. And you have to stop doing the opposite. And this is where uh, self-awareness comes in, is that you have to make sure that you are not thinking negative thoughts about your abilities and about your confidence. And you got to catch those and you got to replace those. You got to not stop talking about um, uh, what you're not capable of doing, where you're not confident, Right. And, you know, as an example, the things that are going on in the world of the rage and the anger and all this stuff that's going on, people are putting their attention on that. And the more they put their attention on that, the more that manifests uh, that. And I implore with you guys that you don't have to post every single day on Facebook uh, the the trials and tribulations of the world. You don't have to do that. You can actually post things online that people need. People need confidence. They need, they need love. They need uh, the ability to know that they're going to be safe. And posting pictures of people that are irritating you is not helping, right? You know, you can, you can do this if you want, but I'm just telling you it's perpetuating the problem. If we want to solve the problem, then we need to go into go mode in the direction to where we want to be, okay? And Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world, okay? It doesn't mean criticize first and then be the change. It's just be the change. Okay? But he's not just saying, be the change. He's saying, think change, speak change, and act with change. Okay, This is the creative process I'm talking about here. Okay, uh, In order to get, you have to give first. Um, good or bad, it's your choice. Your choice. Right? But, you, but the only way that you can do that successfully is you have to be able to do it with awareness. If you're not aware, then you're going to constantly be uh, giving... Giving love, getting criticism. Give love, get criticism. You're gonna get. You're gonna be right in the middle of the road. You're never, never gonna experience bliss. Never gonna experience uh, true confidence. Never gonna experience a a life that is truly fulfilled until you can approach it through self awareness and you can say that every single thought I think is gonna be a successful thought. It's gonna be a thought of love. It's gonna be a thought of uh, a, a thought that's worthy. Every single word that I use is gonna be words of encouragement, words of kindness, words of love. Okay, you can criticize if you want. You can, you can, you can get online and you can you can bitch and slap and do all the things that people are doing right now. 
you know, it's your choice. Uh, you, you can, you can get on and, and there was somebody that posted recently, um, uh, a, a picture of someone flipping someone off like this, just like that, you know, this, like this. And, uh, this was their opinion about a particular subject. And as a result of giving that on Facebook, uh, you, you can guess what the comments were, right? There wasn't anybody on her side that was supporting that picture. Uh, and there was everybody who jumped on board to let her have it, right? Now, that's, that was her choice. That was her choice, is to express herself that way. Not realizing that when you express yourself, when you give that, what comes back to you is a hundredfold. And that's exactly what she got. Now, it's your choice. It's your choice, guys. You want to get creative today? You want to make a day today uh, a day of being a custodian of cool, of, of, of evolving some badassery? Then you got to get out there and you got to push forward. You got to give the things that you want to see in the world. You got to give the things that you want to experience, right? You want to give encouragement, you'll get encouragement. You want to, you want to have love in your life because you're, you're lacking love, you need to give love, okay? Not a hard thing to understand. A little bit more difficult to do because you got to repeat that, okay? That's what I got for you today on today's Art Talk. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and watching. And uh, uh, if you get a chance to uh, watch today's vlog, uh, episode 987 is on the 2020 Camaro 2 SS Coupe, badass vehicle contraption. Uh, we do have the Silverado that's going to be coming next. I did mention to you that Wheels and Waves is going to be coming on July 19th. Uh, very cool. We do have our Tony Dow coloring book. And if you can, if you want, if you so desire, if you have any friends, family, or kids that would like to color and express some uh, present moment um, bliss, pick up a coloring book. There you go, people. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you on next week's Art Talk.